Hello everyone and welcome to our new video in which we are going to give more details about figure C. So let's get started. Figure C as we see here, as we see here, it represents the frequency of upstream and downstream reversed fork per year and used URA plus reversion. We've got here wild type exon 1 D RQH1, exon 1 D RQH1 together, same thing here. Just this is downstream and this is upstream. Then, talking about dots, dots they represent swan sample, independent biological replicate. And bars indicate mean values okay and then we keep going so what you got in here uh, the detection of fork resection by 2 DGE okay here we have got here secondary arc, inner half B off, large Y. Here we have got in RFB on the arrested fork. Here it is. Here is the restarted fork. As we see, there is a continued blue tail, and here there is not a continued blue tail. The secondary arc, same thing we have got here. Converging forks. So detecting fork resection by 2 DG, 2 DGE support that M resection occurs at double strand three arrested fork. Then We detect replication intermediates by 2 DGE2. Here they are, secondary arc. So, so we are talking about secondary arc. Solar and cross linked DNA samples are prone to partial di digest digestion resulting in a secondary arc. Here it is which is indicated by red dashes lines in reversed fork barrier of and on conditions. Okay, and we keep going. So, what we got in here? E and F figures. Wild type exo AD cells RQH AD are reversed for by year off and on. Here, resected fork the rate of resected fork in wild type exo and RQH1. Same thing. So, the tail signal was abolished in exo. Here it is. It, we don't have a tail signal. Then, intermediates, as we said before, we talked about intermediates. Here, the, the secondary arc is the intermediate. Yeah. Would migrate faster than the monomere. Why? Because of a brick introduced one in one chromatid arm near the fork junction now talking about the mass of resected forks and the mass of forks arrested at rts1 rfb being unbroken there we say that there is a consistent mass okay it's consistent with forks arrested at rts1 rfb being unbroken Detecting fork by 2 DGE support that a resection occurs at double strand breaks free arrested fork. Ok, 
okay and detecting four cross section by 2g 2dge in rq h1 cells means that the tail signal was ineffective and means that rqh1 is not part of long range resection talking about blue arrows here yes we talked about them before so they indicate double strand bricks free arrested fork containing nothing strand undergoing resection and numbers indicate the rate of blocks forks standard deviation we have uh, seen this uh, before numbers in precedent videos so what we got here we did pcr assay to directly monitor the presence of dna simple strand refractory to resection we got here a relative fold enrichment dna simple strand and here the distance from the reverse fork barrier in paire de base 110 paire de base 110 paire de base 450 paire de base away from the reverse fork barrier so distance from the reverse fork barrier you have got here in blue and in and in brown i think so in blue we have got wild type in brown we have got exon what we see here is that uh, some this uh, 110 pair de bars away from the reverse fork but here uh, there is the um, wild type and exo cells present together but in here exo is not present and wild type still in the same rate à peu près okay in the same rate à peu près so uh, there is a question here what is responsible who is responsible to make wild type in the same in the same quantity from here even in the absence of exo so we say that there may be other enzymes replacing exo so we keep going what we got in here then yes we say that there is an additional nucleus we keep going okay in next videos thank you so much